Welcome to our new season of Life Groups that is beginning this week all around the, our community. We have tons of great Life Groups starting and I'm so thankful for you as a leader coming and joining us for this season, whether it's your first time or you've been with us many years, really thanking God that you're part of this. I had so many signups this Sunday. It's great to see our people kind of coming together at the end and just praying that each person's life group would have exactly who the Lord would have there. Uh, whether you're doing a relaxed or you're doing a review life group, uh, if it's more fellowship based or it's more based upon uh, just focusing on going over what happened on Sunday. We have a list of questions for you that you can look at and glean wisdom from. Please do not feel like you need to read the questions. In fact, I don't want you to read the questions in your groups. Rather, just use them as jumping off points for your discussions. Uh, that's really what those questions are for. Especially in this first group, I know that you're probably thinking about this already, but how can you make this life group at home for each person that comes in? What's, how can you get acquainted with people? How can you find about, about their life history, their hobbies, their interests, and form a basis for your connection? Really, we want this life group to be about your connection with other people. When you get into those spiritual issues, you need the foundation of actually knowing one another. So make sure that you spend ample time really getting to know your group through the hospitality. Maybe you're having dinner together, maybe appetizers. Maybe you're just going around having an icebreaker or something like that. But please make that attempt just so you kind of form that relational bond from the get-go. And I'll tell you what, that's what makes people want to come back. Uh, what you might want to do this week as well is just call the people or email the people on your life group just to prep them, just tell them that you're excited that they're coming. Uh, again, anything like that that gets people through the door. If they're new to our church, they might be feeling a little awkward already. So please just do whatever is necessary while the Lord leads you to, to help in that way. Uh, I'll be just producing a video and kind of illustrating some of the applications from the Sunday message. Again, don't feel like you need to use any of these. Whatever the Lord lay, lays, on, lays on your heart, you're a leader, and we trust you with that leadership, but we want to offer you some relevant applications. I thought what Pastor David says about, said about the, the gods of sex and money, Baal and Asherah, I thought that was an excellent application, something that you can talk about. Uh, how do we avoid these temptations in our modern culture? Uh, the temptations of following after sexuality, in, uh, in, in ways that are immoral? Uh, how do we follow after money and materialism? How do we avoid those temptations? That's something you can really bring up in your life group. The general theme there is again being faithful in exile, like standing opposed to the, the cultures and values that would take us away from Jesus. So you can really capitalize on that theme as well. And of course, Daniel exemplifies that. How to stay close to Jesus in a world that's trying to force you into their little mold like Nebuchadnezzar would with the, uh, with the, with the men that he was trying to train up from Israel. So uh, the rest of those questions we'll have as one of our resources on planning centers, so please go there for that. Uh, but again, we're praying that you have just a wonderful life group this season. We're praying that each and every one of you would be equipped with God's Word and really focused on ministering to your people. Get to know them, get to love them this first week.